again and see what happens if we uh, skip school this time with the old girl. God, I really don't want to go back either. See? But I don't know. You already know what you're getting if you go back there. Some white bitch with wholesome bumper stickers. And a sun damaged poster telling you your outfit doesn't matter. Plus her whole stupid I don't own a TV attitude. Yeah, so fuck that bitch. Fuck that petition writing Prius driving bitch. Okay, but if we don't go back to class, where should we hang out then? I don't know. I have a car, so pretty much anywhere we want. What car you drive? 98 Saturn. You said that like a Saturn's badass or something. <laughs> Cringe. Oh, oh, two door. Oh, two -door. Yeah, Ugh. But all the AC vents are chipped because we kept using them as two door cars are like at the hot. bottom of the barrel. They're like Avril Lavigne if she never got famous. I know, right? All right, let's go. Cool. But first, we gotta stop by my locker. Yeah, sure. What for? I need to all to stop at stop signs. Yep. Why does he have to be right in front of my locker? Yo, yo, hey, you guys hanging around too? God damn it. Is there a reason you're specifically here, or are you just some annoying free spirit? Well, if skipping is free spirited, doesn't that make you guys free spirited too? It's, it's not a bad thing. When girls are free spirited, it's actually cute. Yeah, when men do it, it's like, fuck off, go die in a war. Exactly. So if you don't have any business here, go to Iraq and leave us alone. Actually, I kind of might have some business here. Business like what? Business like... I heard you buy Bud. Jesus Christ, how's <laughs> everybody? Yeah, but not everybody buys good shit. Okay, what do you got? How much? A quarter for 180. 180? Holy fucking it's shit. Laced with gold. I know there's cheaper stuff out there, but this shit here, this shit here is 180. You better turn 180 and walk away, gringo. Gringo? <laughs> MS-13, I have the pass. Okay, so <laughs> How about 120 yeah. Buzz? I'm open to trades, what you got? You're an X, right? I could be, but why is your ex shiny and red? Is that cough medicine? Dude, no way. It's only like that because she got it from Mardi Gras. Yeah, it blends in with the necklace. Is red a Mardi mm. Gras color? Do you want to get fucked up or not? How do I know if they're good? Take one. No, actually take all of them because they're kind of weak. Okay. Yep, just, just take all of them. And he does. Okay, of course. Well, Rip Crispin. Damn, that wasn't even 20 minutes. Now I can finally open my locker. Steal a shit, by the way. Yeah, I got it. That was really good. You were really good. The Mardi Gras save was awesome. I was surprised you didn't fuck it up. When I try that with Jekka, it takes her a second. And then they <laughs> know something's up. Yeah, exactly. We're really good at fucking with people. I know. Just wait till we get to the mall. God, this isn't even that much weed. You want to roll some? No, marijuana is a baby drug. You can't even die smoking it. Okay, we'll just sell it. This might be the first time they ever actually restocked this mall. Yeah, did you see the homicidal slut shirt with a gun on it? The one in Spencer's? Yeah, that was awesome. What about those panties with Kurt Cobain's suicide note on them? Those were so Holy fuck, I remember those. Money. We gotta sell this weed. Emily and Nicole, I didn't know you guys were friends. Why is Jeffrey here? You know his name? You don't? Probably the book no, name. I just call him Nerd Shirt. Jeffrey, why aren't you at school? It's 3.30, school's been over. Wow. Time is like automatic in here. Well, Jeffrey, since you're out and about and everything, you trying to get faded? Faded? Uh, are you gonna throw a bleach <laughs> on me again? No, no. Sure, get the nerd kid high. Are you looking to blaze right now? Blaze. Like Blaziken the Pokemon? <laughs> she could choose a Pokemon. What the fuck is Blaziken? Blaziken's a newer Pokemon. You're up to date on all the Pokemon? Isn't it's not it's not even that 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 newer. I mean, Diamond and Poe was already out then. Get an hour. Can the two of you just speak English? Jeffrey, you want to get really high off some OG Kush? Wait, I know what that means. Are you guys trying to sell me drugs? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> eyeliner pencil. Nice try, but I think my time and money are spent better elsewhere. I don't. Let's no, I don't think so. The both of you learn how to pay attention in health class. I'll see you never. I hate him so much. How can you talk shit when you can't even tie your shoes? Yeah. Did that seem out of character for him? A little bit, yeah. The blunt before? No, not that. He's never been that dismissive with a girl before. I've literally told him to kill himself and he'll still try to be friends. Oh, me too. He just likes female attention. But if he's turning ours down, that means... Sorry I'm late. Got a little caught up. It's okay. What Holy you shit. Oh my god. He the two nerds are dating. A human female willing to listen to him. I'm not happy for him. After the way he just talked to us, me neither. 
Are we gonna do something about it? I think you already know. Yeah. By the way, did I mention the YouTube anime copyright controversy? You did, actually. It's okay, though. Oh, sorry. It's just a big deal. A lot of people have been talking about it. I don't mind. Do you want to hang out after school again tomorrow? tomorrow? Oh, that's kind of wholesome. I guess so. Two nerds but hang out. In, like, a date sort of way? Yeah, I like that. We have a lot in common, and you're really nice. Well, a girlfriend. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Um. Oh, look at this. Is this your next jump off, Jeffrey? Um, okay. What's going on? Oh, he didn't tell you? Then again, he didn't tell us either. Yeah, Jeffrey loves telling girls they're the only one. Then he blocks your number after you're left with herpes. Fuck the herpes. <laughs> Fuck pregnant, Jeffrey. What, what, what? Is this true? You told me you're a virgin, Jeffrey. Oh, so we just never existed to you? But they're making all this up. I don't understand. I am a virgin. Would a virgin say there's 493 Pokemon before going down on me? <laughs> Actually, remember that. Three? You told me that exact Pokemon number yesterday. Were you cheating on me? No, I don't even know them. Not only will he cheat on you, he's also really Christian. Yeah, he'll tell you he's pro-life wall finishing. Oh, no. You're not <laughs> believing them, are you? I you to pay for my treatment and you better pay for this baby jeffrey <laughs> i gotta go what the karen no come back i feel that, that was epic better yeah i don't even feel bullying is fun anymore we can just go back and steal all that stuff drop me off after though yeah okay but yeah that was productive why does skittles taste better when they're stolen dopamine rush I thought Seroquel stopped that. Nicole, where have you been all night? I don't know, are you a cop Stealing now? stuff. And who's this? Should I go? Nah, you can hang out. We were at the mall, mom. So I'm supposed to believe you were just at the mall all night? The fuck you mean all night? We were there for like, what, two, three hours? Yeah, two and a half, like the sitcom. It's one in the morning. Damn, we hung out with that guy that long. What guy? Nobody. What <laughs> guy, Nicole? Mom, don't even worry about it. You're gonna freak out. Tell me! Oh my god. Tell me or your friend has to go home! Ultimatum. You really want to know? Yes, what guy was this? The crackhead in front of the mall we sold weed to! Where did you even get- Ugh, you're so stupid! Oh, so I guess you hate homeless people too? No! Mm -hmm. Dealing drugs in public, dealing drugs in general, just how can you be so idiotic? Uh, it was actually kind of smart. Excuse me? Bitch, you better fix your fucking tone with me before I slash your tires. Really? We sold to a crackhead, because what would a crackhead want with weed? Cops would never expect that shit. It's genius. <laughs> this yeah, is true. You shut the fuck up, mom. How about I call the police? Your plan's just so bulletproof, you shouldn't worry. Oh, shit. Go the fuck ahead, bitch. They'll side with us anyway, because we're cute and you're old and used up. Uh, Nicole, I don't want you hanging around with her anymore. She can hang out with whoever the fuck she wants, whore. So why don't you go to your room, pour your little wine, put on Grey's Anatomy, and shut the fuck up. I can't believe you! Actually, that was kind of mean. Wish I could say that to my mom. Why don't you? She'd probably cut me out of the will. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Huh. But hanging out with you, this was easily, like, the best day of my life. Shutting your mom down was just the cherry on top. Yeah, you're cool. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, can I spend the night here? I guess. My mom's too busy crying to say no now. Awesome. Where's your bathroom? There's one downstairs. Cool. I'm just gonna flush my Seroquel. All of it? Yeah, I'm just done with it, period. Oh. Don't go in the basement, because that's Is where brother is. Today, how I ripped your mom to shreds. That's the real me. That is the real unfiltered me. So fuck this med shit. I don't want my mom controlling me anymore, and yours shouldn't either. Yeah, I got you. Fuck yeah, go. Cool. Cool. Besides, I want to take a Percocet to fall asleep, and perks do not mix with Seroquel. You go, girl boss. How do I do this paper, dude? There's got to be a way to get out of doing most of this. How many times have I petitioned for palm juice in the lounge vending machine? Miss Ames? What is it? Me and Nicole were wondering if we could pair together for our essay. We were? Pair together? Yeah, like we made like a, a bunch of besties? presentation for class. We'll make flashcards at everything. An oral presentation on the state of modern poetry? Isn't poetry all about the spoken word? Not really. Hmm. I'll allow it. But just know I'll have a higher level of scrutiny since it's two of you together. No, that's fine. Thanks. Since when are teachers okay with switching the whole assignment? It's remedial. They just want to see it done. Something you two would like to share with the rest of the class? Like what? Actually, could we be excused to the restroom? Since when do you ask? 
Well, I just had an anxiety flashback to when Hillary Clinton lost to Obama last summer. Oh. oh <laughs> yeah. We don't care what color he was. It's still misogynistic. <laughs> yeah. All the time you need. Uh, beautiful. Well, that was spontaneous. What? How you switch the assignment? No, not that. Spontaneous? Oh, yeah. It means like... Are you trying to talk down to me? What? No, it's just a word. They had it in the cat in the hat live action movie <laughs> the one oh that one beginning. oh no you're right i love you yeah i love you too but if you were talking down to me i'd smack the shit out of you i'd make you bleed good to know but anyway i wanted to switch to a presentation because i've had a pretty big idea for that class but no one to do it with until now obviously exactly you're down for anything even if it crosses the line bitch what line exactly miss ames is this perfect little bitch in her perfect oh come on another nazi presentation go ahead oh yeah totally what do you want to do so i've had this plan for a while actually but um sorry it's really wild let me think how to word this no take your time it doesn't smell that bad in here for once right yeah uh fuck i need a cigarette to think there's always somebody in here. Oh, Ari, do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. Of course. What's your problem? Do I look like I want to be asked? Calm down. You hear this bitch, Nicole? Yeah, she can't tell you what Oh, she is just completely you unhinged. Jesus. Can you stoners act normal for once? Stoner? What is it, 1990? Show us your purity ring, Jonah's sister. Show me the guy in his 30s you're banging this weekend. Yo. Yo. Shut up. No, seriously. Your eyeliner is always sharp. Your lip gloss matches your hair. You're actually really pretty. Thanks. That's why I want to look you in the face when I stab you. Okay, I'm out of here. I knew that bitch was soft. Yeah, she's weird. What was the Man, she is hardcore. I still need that cigarette. Jekka has a ton. She's not in remedial, though. You want to ditch and go to regular lunch? Not like we do anything in class, anyway. Always the same table. What are you guys doing here? Hanging out. Do you skipping. have cigarettes? Uh, are you guys skipping remedial? Are you at lunch alone? No, Kelly just went to get water. You guys are gonna go to school jail if they catch you. Well, they won't catch us, right? Because you're gonna keep your mouth shut, right? Nicole. No, no, Emily, she's cool. Oh, oh, cool. So, yeah, can I borrow a cigarette? Uh, if I have one in my locker. And yours is by the science rooms, right? Yeah. Sweet. Don't get up, I got it. Wait! You don't even know the combination. No, oh, she doesn't need a combination. Oh, there. Isn't she great? Nicole, what <laughs> are you doing with that girl? Just yesterday, triple C's in Atlanta Park. No, why are you hanging out with her? She's a gold boss. Over this. I'm allowed to make new friends, okay? No, I'm not jealous. She is fucking insane, Nicole. Insane how? Psych ward visits. She's got a couple screws loose, yeah. Her ex boyfriend's car on fire. Yeah, but that makes her fun. Besides, you're a hypocrite because you buy scripts off her all the time. Buying her Adderall isn't the same as hanging out with her. That bitch is going to get weirdly attached to you and snap as soon as you get tired of her. Well, I'm not tired. That's of all her the fun. Now. I guess we're going to have to wait and see. Were you Gotta love some BBD girls. Sort of. I hate her. She literally choked me in gym and didn't even get expelled. Skill issue. But hold on. But why'd she choke you? Because I said she wasn't as pretty as Fergie. Still sound okay to you? A girl can be confident. Confident? I was passed out on the floor for like two minutes. Bitch, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> yeah. By the way, where's your mom been? Why are you uh, on your undies? She hasn't been here since you yelled at her. I think she's afraid of you. She better be. Oh, yeah? For real? I don't like how she talks to you, Nicole. You're actually like really cool and smart and you should be treated as such. Wow, that's uh... What's wrong? Guys tell me that all the time, and I just say, I know. But now that a girl's saying it, I forgot how to take an actual compliment. We're friends. Don't worry about it. Are you trying to have sex with me? Not really. Yeah, I have no idea how to process this. <laughs> Did your mom ever compliment you? No. Because she can't appreciate what she has. And seriously? Like, seriously, Nicole? If I ever see her talk like that to you again, I will rip her beating heart out and hand it to you on a silver platter. Yeah, you go, girl. You don't want to have sex with me? No. Are you sure? Are, are, are you sure? If you saw someone talking down to me, what would you do? Oh, uh, damn. Killing my mom is a tough act to follow. Okay, like, 
If you saw my boyfriend cheating, what would you do? Kill that bitch. Oh my god, please. He's such an asshole now. Things are rocky with your gang member boyfriend? No way. Yeah, oh, who'd have expected this? up on heroin. The sex isn't even good anymore. Yeah, competing with heroin may as well kill yourself. Oh, that reminds <laughs> me. The idea for the oral presentation? Oh god, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, no, don't worry. I got all the supplies ready. It's just flashcards, right? Not exactly. So you know how we want to, like, screw up Miss Ames? Yeah, for sure. And we don't even really, like, have a plan of our high school, right? Like, honestly, what are we going to do? No, you're right. Uh, no, get so fucked up on drugs, dude, eh? Right? If we show her the real state of modern poetry. Real suffering. Not some bumper sticker bullshit. Dude, I'm down for it. What do we do? Okay. We go to the front of class, say a few words, and then we'll swallow this pill mixture. Hold up. And a mixture of what? So I started saving all my Seroquel instead of flushing it, and then I mixed it with stuff my boyfriend gave me, and then I bought- That'll a knock you out cold. Tyler. Well, hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD, cause death this fucking poetry. I mean, Holy fuck, she's insane! For the rest of Holy life. shit! Uh, are you sure about are that? Are you just gonna say, okay, Nicole? Well, it's just a little... If you're gonna back out, he's gonna kill you. Nicole. Don't make me jump your ass out. No, no, I'm cool. Shut the fuck up! I said I'm cool with it. No, not you. I was hearing voices again. Voices where? Like, in my head. They always tell me I'm wrong about something. The psychiatrists might disagree, huh. but have you considered listening to the voices in your head? Whatever. Look, are you down or what? Totally. Anything you want. Awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> so, so I'm getting I'm really fucking pressured into to kill someone, I killing myself. What if I told you in front of class? Someone, like yourself? <laughs> Nicole, I know you're there's no fucking way she's gonna do it. It's gonna be okay. I mean, the, hey, there's been some fucked up shit in this game, so. We sure do. You're not gonna kiss me goodnight? Oh my god. Mwah. Thanks. I love you. Yeah. Are you gonna see? Are you gonna. Okay, now I do have... wanna kill myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. That is why modern poetry is written. Done. You certainly are. Is that a threat? <laughs> Sorry we're late. Not actually though. Late again. What's the excuse this time? I tried ironing my shirt with a hair straightener and it caught on fire. Witness. Putting out a tiny fire wouldn't make you ten minutes late, would it? Well, no. Yeah, it was it'll a make really it. cute shirt, so I cried for like nine minutes. I find that hard to believe. No, it was actually such a good shirt. Yeah, it had a Jack the Ripper crime scene photo and said, all work is sex work under it. I met the crying uh, front of the class. This oral presentation better be good. It will be. Uh, oh, yeah. shit. Well, go ahead. Here we go. When you're ready. No warm up or anything. I don't see why you'd need one. Does public speaking make you nervous, Nicole? No, there's just a few things higher on that list. Okay, let's just start. Go on. So, me and Nicole have been looking at modern poetry and made one main conclusion. Yeah, a real big one. When you really get down to it, any living poet is a whole ass poser. <laughs> and why is hmm. that? Poetry is about the spoken word, about storytelling, right? But movies have stories, too. Yeah, last I checked. And movies suck when you see the ending coming a mile away. Why should it be different with anything else? Yeah, and poetry sucks, too, because... Because a writer's life is reflected in their work, and if their life is boring and stupid, how can we expect their work to be any better? We can't. <gasps> the poetry is linked to the poet. Good. Most people's lives are okay. boring. Lots of waiting around. Lots of doing nothing. But when does it suddenly get interesting? When do people care about you more than any other point in your life? Oh, when you're dead. When you die? <laughs> exactly. Wow. Especially when it's unexpected. And especially when it's voluntary. Like suicide. And so I noticed a link. Basically all the best writers kill themselves. Hunter S. Thompson, Ernest Hummerway, Hemingway, whatever. It's pretty obvious to me, modern poetry sucks now. It's ruined. <gasps> ruined by what? Therapy, self-help books, psych meds. It's like you're not allowed to be sad anymore. Yeah, what about the pursuit of unhappiness? Happy people aren't interesting. They don't tell good stories. They'll tell you about their cousin's science fair project or some other shit you don't care about. Language. So get rid of the good poets? Get rid of the people who keep you guessing? You're left with no good modern poetry. So all poets and storytellers need to be suicidal? 
It's not about what they need to be, it's what they are. Their life is their work. Then what's the thesis? The what? The central message of your essay? <laughs> Kill yourself. All writers have suicidal thoughts. Because you can't have a good story knowing there's going to be a happy ending. That's very nice, girls. C+. Plus. That's it. Decent length, but a little inaccurate and rather melodramatic. Oh, then how many poems have you published? Excuse me? Hmm. You graded us low because we implied you're a shitty writer. Just say it. That's enough, Emily. Sorry your world's too cozy for anyone to care about what you make. This is entirely baseless. Have a seat. You're soft, bitch. Face it. Yeah, honestly. Truly deep thoughts come at a much older age than 17. Whatever. You'd probably call Bob Dylan deep. <laughs> What's really deep is voting, volunteering in your community. Have you ever thought of anyone other than yourself? You did not say that. Oh. You're the type of bitch to fuck one black dude, then call yourself light skinned. <laughs> okay, out of bounds. I think you need to be written up. Go ahead, write me up. No one's gonna want to read it. You're teenagers. You think you're any deeper than any other adult in the world? Deeper than you, bitch. We're about that shit. And how's that? Watch us. You ready, Nicole? No. It's honestly super humbling when the trashiest girl you know probably coked out of her mind, says the most thoughtful thing you've heard in years. I thought I was like deep and misunderstood and made the text and background all black on my space so it's like a blacked out profile. But no, I never planned this suicide pact. I never cut anywhere other than my wrists. She took her shirt off in front of me, cuts all over her body. Had one of those angel wing shoulder blade tattoos. In the feathers, it said, proud mistake. I can't compete with that. What I'm trying to say is, you could skateboard, smoke cloves, get your tongue pierced, there's always going to be a hotter bitch than you. And you just gotta accept that. I'm jealous of a girl who just killed herself. That's how fucked up I am. You might be wondering how I'm even telling you all this, even though we both followed through with it. Well, I cut her little pill concoction with crushed up Flintstones vitamins. So, I passed out, I had a seizure, but it was just diluted enough to where I didn't die. I can't say the same for Emily, though. Okay, so I'm not huh. sad about it, but at least I have the serotonin to not kill myself. I was gonna say, you're not actually gonna do it, but oh well, okay, that, that was something. That is one crazy bitch, my dude. Okay, let's just read the message. Now or never. You won't see this because they make us turn our phones off, but I just want to write this for me. I'm glad we are dying together, it just feels right and I can't think of anyone I would rather do it with. I may as well write this too. I'm super fucking gay for you. Sorry I lied in the hallway and didn't tell you before we shared a bed and changed in front of each other. I don't know if that's rape or whatever, but if it is, so, but if it is, sorry lol. I can die fulfilled because dying together with another girl is a bigger commitment than some soft ass bitch getting married to Jack the construction worker or some other boring white guy who can't pronounce... <sighs> <coughs> Or some other boring white guy who can't pronounce Beanie Sigel. That's how you say it. And if not, then I uh, guess I'm some boring white guy. I mean, I know I am, but that has been confirmed. But yeah, if you pass out, uh, first I'm gonna try to fall over you so it looks like we're cuddling. Oh, that's wholesome. Glad she's fucking dead now. That bitch is cray cray. Yeah, live.